So there's been a bit of a media industry storm bubbling under this week. Freelance journalist Edwin Ntsidi covered the recent elections with EWN while also standing as a PR candidate for election for political party Action SA. The South African National Editors Forum has warned journalists against violating and undermining the press code. Concerns have since been raised about continuing mistrust between South African media and the audiences we serve then. So to discuss the implications of this, we're joined by Dr. Yilva Rodney Kumete from the University of Johannesburg, a professor in communications as well, she is. Uh, good to have you on the program, ma'am. Let's begin with why, journalistically, it is so wrong for a reporter who worked on news coverage around the elections to now emerge as a member of council for a political party. Mm. Uh, it's an interesting case, and I think we should be cautioned against saying that it's always wrong uh, to have a political uh, affiliation. That's not what this is about. This is about a particular case where we can clearly say that it's been wrong. Uh, where uh, Mr. Nchididen did not disclose his uh, ties and connection to one political party uh, during, and, and, and then went uh, to cover the elections and, and later then went on to become a, a, a councillor, PR councillor even, for, for Action uh, uh, SA in South Africa. And work that he we apparently had done throughout also the uh, election. So his affiliation didn't come after the elections. It, 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 it was a continuous affiliation with, 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 with Action SA. And in this case, it is wrong because, of course, it opens up for absolute bias. Uh, here, he's working on a mandate then to, to conduct, a, sort of has a PR mandate from Action SA, whilst then trying to, uh, what we perceive as should be, have been uh, objective reporting and a balanced uh, and fair reporting from his side on the elections and all parties. So that's why it's, it's wrong in this particular mm -hmm. case, yes. And I suppose what makes it trickier is exactly what you're saying, Doctor, that when you have a situation such as this, even if let's say, in the actual reporting that he put out to air, there wasn't a clear pro-Action SA bias. It makes you question how he perhaps may have covered other political party events and rallies. Mm. No, absolutely. And if an employer and us as an audience don't know what affiliations people have, then it's very difficult for us to discern what is truthful, what is fair, what is balanced coverage. And I think that's the, that's the particular case in point here. I also think that the fact that the employer wasn't told about these affiliations, and then, as you say, it might open up then for other cases where journalists haven't disclosed particular uh, uh, political affiliations, I, in my personal opinion, wouldn't say that it's wrong for a journalist. Of course, we all have the right to vote. We all have a, a duty to cast our vote in free and, uh, and open uh, elections, and we would do so according to our own conscience, like any member of the public. Uh, however, when it goes further, and I would say that even being a card-carrying member of a political party uh, uh, shouldn't, be, shouldn't be an issue as long as you disclose it and it's proven that you could do your work uh, uh, as well as any other journalist, and, 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 and be objective and scrutinize all political parties fairly. However, here you had someone who directly worked even for a political party, mm. which takes this to another level or, uh, uh, altogether. I wonder then if, in the CD case, Edwin had gone from, say, being a lifestyle or a sports reporter who was then a PR candidate for a political party, would the ethical considerations change based on the beat that would not have had links to political coverage per se? You know, it's always good to disclose and say that you want to be taken off a particular, a particular beat because you have uh, a personal in uh, interest in, in the issue. Uh, it's it would be difficult for me to cover corruption uh, conducted by uh, a close family member, for example, as a journalist, and I should then be asked uh, to or asked to be taken off that particular story. That's one thing that could have happened in this case. It could have asked not to do the political beat in this or, or the election coverage. But I think that even though this, this goes further because there's someone who's actively taken uh, on a role in a, a, a political party as a councillor, which takes this to a different level. It's not mm. only being... Uh, uh, casting your vote on a political party, for example, is actively going out to promote one particular viewpoint or one political party. And how much damage do you think this does, Doctor, to the already strained levels of trust between some members of the South African public and us, the media? Mm. 
uh, absolutely, and this doesn't help. If we want to build trust and gain the audience trust, then, then, then we need to be careful with, with how we conduct ourselves. I think that, you know, that, let me take you back a little bit. Studies shows that, for example, uh, uh, political party affiliations of newspapers, even of newspaper owners, is not always a bad thing. Uh, you, can, you can be an owner that's associated with a political party, for example, but leave editorial control to the people who are best apt to do so, editors and journalists in this, uh, in, in, in this instance. Um, having a political party line as a newspaper, as long as you disclose it in your editorial line, for example, it's not a bad thing either. We need a full spectra of, of coverage, and that's what's important. And I think this goes to the heart of the issue here, that as uh, readers, as viewers, as media uh, uh, consumers, we need, and as a, to be an informed citizen, to be able to make informed decisions, we need a coverage that scrutinize everything to uh, the same level, to the same point, so that we actually can make informed decisions about which party to vote for, for example. Mm -hmm. It's not so that we only scrutinize corruption within one entity or one party. We do it across the board. We also highlight what's, what's being done from perspectives of, of informing our citizens really well. And I think that that comes back to some of the issues that we have seen around the SEBC right now as well, where actually one political party, the ruling political party, has gone out and criticised the editor-in-chief, where, where uh, Ms. Batiswa Ngopeni has been accused of, of, uh, of, of bias in the sense that she hasn't, they feel, haven't covered the, the uh, ruling party um, mm. or she, she has gone hard on the ruling party, for example, harder than other, uh, other political parties. This always happens with a political ruling party. They, they, they have to stand up to a little bit more scrutiny than anyone else. And I think that this is, this is a different discussion, but they're interrelated to some degree, how important it is, and it highlights how important, sorry, how important it is to be uh, uh, balanced and, and in your coverage be able to scrutinize every political entity to the same degree. And what about, Prof, journalists who leave the newsroom to work in government as heads of communication, spokespeople, and then months, years later, return to newsrooms? Should that also be frowned upon? You see, I think it's interesting. We see with politicians, for example, that they, can, they need a cooling down period before they can step into to the private sector, for example. And this is for reasons of avoiding intel and information that can be used to further uh, particular interests. And, and I think that the same goes for, for, for journalists to, to a certain degree. However, of course, if you have had another occupation and then decide to change your occupation, you should be able to do so. But I think that then it's really, really important that you do disclose to your audience, to editors, to employers, where you come from, what you're doing, and that you prove to the general audience and to your readers, viewers, etc., that, that you can conduct your business with absolute fairness mm. and, and balance. Professor Yolva Rodney Gumete, good to speak to you on Newsfeed today. Thank you.